Hello, everybody. We're back. So today uh, we are going to give you guys another assignment, which is kind of like bringing stuff together. So first of all, let me show you what uh, project, little mini project, I'd like you guys to try and accomplish this period. And so let me run the program first for you, and we'll see how we're going to solve it. So if I run this, we learned last period how to create this grid, and I can show you where that is. So if we go to drawing on my site, and um, we go to, OK, uh, there it is. It's not under lines, but under rectangles. Uh, last period, we had the code to make these rectangles. And you can take a look at how we did that here. Uh, so that's all available. So we know how to make that. So what's new here? Well, I'm sure you noticed that there's a pawn right there. And so watch what I can do with this pawn. Ready? I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to, whoa, I can move this pawn. Wait, how am I able to move an image? Well, again, let's go back to the website. And let's go to object-oriented programming and look. The last one we did was a draggable widget. So if you scroll down here and you take a look, we had a class that we inherited from FLBox. And we ended up um, creating a handle such that the push event, which is clicking down, does something, and the drag event does something else. Essentially, it changes where the, uh, the class is drawn. And in this case, it's the box. And, and the box, in this case, has an image associated with it. So essentially, the code that you're seeing here is a combination of two programs we have done in the past. One of those programs is the draggable widget class here. In this case, I've called this class Tux. Now, I'm going to ask you to change that. And I'll give you kind of like an overview of how I'd like you to complete this. But if we go down and take a look at drawing, and we um, take a look at rectangles here, then um, we'll see that this is this this was actually a uh, subclass from FL window now I'm actually not gonna get you to do that I'm actually gonna get you to subclass FL group and and draw the grid and there's a reason for this so let me actually give you the overview now and so I can do that I'll do that here so what I want you to have uh, is I want you to have three classes. The first class is going to be called uh, Piece. OK, so Piece is going to inherit from uh, FL Box. OK, so essentially, that's the same as uh, Tux was here. OK, so if we kind of scroll down here, there. So I'm not going to call it tux. Let's call it piece. And then the next thing we're going to do is you're going to create another class called board. And in this case, you're going to inherit from FL group. Okay, so not from window. So this is going to be, so let's go over here. This is, is, this is not here. This is going to be the code from drawing. 
And so when we go to rectangles, this is going to be the, the my app in FL window where you end up drawing. Uh, it's the the um, it's not so the, the handle is not important here by the way, so you're not going to need the handle, but you are going to need the draw part. Okay, to make the grid, so to make the board in this case, and then what I want you to do is have another class called chess. And in this case, this is going to inherit from FL window. Now, um, you're going to see we're going to end up changing this, and we're going to we're going to I'm going to show you what we're going to change it to, uh, but maybe we'll show that a bit later on. But for now, FL window is good enough, and this this chess class is going to end up containing a board. And it's going to end up containing the piece that you have defined up here. So this one's going to have the draw method. okay? And if we go back to our to draw the board, but if we go back to this one, here's what's going to be slightly different about this draggable widget. So if we scroll down again, um, you are going to have th this one in, um, in particular doesn't actually need the draw method, but it does need handle. However, here's the interesting thing about this. Notice that we have specified drag, push, and we have release here, but we're not really doing anything with it. So I'm going to tell you right now you are going to have to, so essentially, I mean, these ones are going to be pretty much identical because you're going to move it. But what's going to be different is the release. So you're going to have to figure out how to code this part. This, is, this hasn't been done yet. So let me show you what I want it to be like. So let's just go back here and let's say, all right, so piece is going to have handle and it's going to have um, push, drag, and also release. Okay, this one's done, this one's done, this one's done. Uh, this one, the chess one, this is not done yet. This is not done yet, but these guys are easy because all you have to do is just include them in a new class. This chess class doesn't need any special methods like draw or handle. It's just going to contain other things you've made. So the only thing really that you don't have at all is this guy, which is the release. So let me show you how I want that to behave. So let's play now and let me grab the image and let me let me let me grab it from like let's say here and let, and so now now that was the push and here's the drag and so we've got all that already but the release is interesting because watch this if I release it here or let's just say here notice where the tip of my mouse pointer is and now I'm going to let go I'm gonna let go now and so look where the piece ends up being drawn. This behavior you don't have yet. So also I can hold it from here, okay, and I can drag it to let's say right here, and now notice where is my mouse, that's the square it should be drawn into. And if I release, perfect. That's what I'm looking for. So, um, and just to, just to tell you, I mean, my, my screen here that I'm recording with uh, is only 720 pixels high, so the whole board doesn't fit in it because it's 8 by 8 and each square is 100, so um, my window here is 800 uh, wide and 800 uh, wide. So anyways, that's not important. Uh, I'm sure it'll fit on your screen, 
But essentially, what I'm looking for is for you to complete this new program with these classes. And then essentially, once you've done them all, you just create an instance of chess and then do chess.show. And uh, hopefully, you'll be successful. So I'll pause the video now. And um, oh, I guess there is one other thing I should mention. And that is the FL window. So when you do this, do you notice that when I, when I play this game, when I drag this image, and I can drag it around, it looks pretty solid. And there's no issues in terms of how it looks. Well, guess what? You're going to have issues if you do this with an FL window. Now, what would I suggest you use instead? I didn't use an FL window. I actually used an FL double window. And what that stands for is a double buffered window, which does drawing off screen. It's, a, it's essentially uh, a way of speeding up the redraws uh, of the window. And we're having to do lots of redraws because when we drag the widget around. And so it, if you use just a simple FL window, it's going to work. It just might look a little bit, um, what's the word, jaggy or like um, delayed when you're moving pieces. If you use a, uh, a double window, it's going to be nice and smooth. OK? So uh, and it is inherit for, for the Oh yeah, one more thing, sorry I forgot about this, was the, um, where did I get that chess uh, image from? And so I, I just Googled for uh, chess pawn PNG and I took, I think it was this one I took. So uh, yeah, so you can grab that and um, uh, some of them work okay, some of them um, there, some of them are not really transparent, and so this one worked fine for me. Okay, go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, so here is the solution to the um, moving the chess piece around. So here is my piece class, and inheriting from FL box, and everything pretty much is the same. Except, so I did change a few things. Uh, I, I made the push event uh, first, because that's what happens first. And drag happens second. And finally, release. And here is the code for the release. Now, if you'll notice, it's very similar to the drag, except the position is calculated using a little bit of math to figure out the top left-hand corner of the box using some uh, floor division and multiplication. And um, so essentially, that's all the math there is to it. And that'll give you the top. No, so no matter what box you let go in, that'll give you the top left-hand corner of the box. Now, that's handled as well here, return 1. And uh, so that's it. Now, for the board, essentially, I just uh, inherited from FL group and I did the draw as well which was the same as our uh, last lesson and uh, of course you know remember this this piece was from the draggable widget which was the last section I think in the uh, or or one of the last sections in uh, the object-oriented programming chapter and um, and so now here is my last class, which is the chess class. And essentially, all I'm doing is I'm creating a board and creating an image and then creating a piece and then setting the image into the piece. Now, one thing I will say, though, is that the board, creating this board, has to come before you create the piece. If you do it the other way around, the, the board ends up covering up the piece. So in other words, for ch child widgets inside a window, it matters, the order of creation matters. It's the same order at wi uh, which they are drawn. So, um, so yeah. 
Let's run it again. And you'll see that it's working just fine. Now remember, I can drag it. I don't have to actually click on the... Uh, uh, if I, the interesting thing here, right, is it goes to the one where the mouse pointer is. So even if I put it here, I mean, it looks kind of like, this is kind of might be confusing because it looks like you're putting it in the white square, but if I let go, then it goes to uh, the one where the mouse pointer is in. And that's, that's fine. That's typical behavior, and that's the way you want it to work. Okay? So before I end this lesson, I wanted to share uh, one of the challenges that I had in making this program. So uh, when I initially thought about this, I thought of actually making just two classes. And then uh, I discovered that I couldn't do it. So let me show you what I initially tried. So. Here is a, a copied, I've just essentially copied the code uh, and now I'm going to um, edit this. So what I want to do here is I want to just have a board class and I'm going to uh, change this to uh, FL, well we'll just change it to FL double window. And then um, I'm going to get rid of this chess class, but before I do, I'd like to take these two lines here. Oops. Um, let's take this line and this line, and let's yank them, and let's copy them and put them up here. So I'm going to make them a part of the board class, so make the image and the, the piece part of the board class. And then uh, I, I don't need this class anymore. I can simply del delete this altogether. And so uh, if I get rid of this, now uh, I'm not going to create an instance of a chess class. Uh, I'm going to create an instance of a board. And so you'll see what's going to happen now because uh, let's, oops, let's, um, Let's save that and let's run it. Now you'll notice that my chess piece is gone. So at this point, maybe maybe it's better if I kind of show all the code in, in one window. So let me do that. Let's close this one. So okay, so this is the this is my code that I'm dealing with now. And so this class is the same. I haven't changed piece at all. But what I have done is I've got rid of gotten rid of the chess class and I've gotten I've changed board into uh, inheriting from double window not an FL group anymore and so and and inside the, the board I am creating the uh, the piece and then when the board gets drawn however you might say ah but now that you have a draw method you're not drawing the um, the piece. So therefore, what I could do is I could come here and go uh, self dot uh, b pawn dot redraw, and so essentially, uh, I would you know after the board is drawn, I would force a redraw of the of the pawn, which would therefore be on top of the board because right now my pawn is underneath the board so therefore it's not visible but you'll see that even when I do this the unfortunately the um, the pawn is it's supposed to be here and it is it's just that it's covered up by the board which is which is you know being painted on top of it so I'm, I got stuck on how to make this work, and so therefore I, I ended up making three classes, and the third class was the chess class that I showed earlier. So even if I, if, even if I change, uh, if uh, this was FL no box, so even if I change this uh, to a, let's say a, um, a flat box, that still doesn't help as when I run it, it still doesn't show up. And 
Um, I'm not, I, I know the reason for this issue, and that's because, like, watch this. If I, it, the reason is because the, the, um, the squares are being drawn on top of the widget and closing it up. So watch what I can do here. Let me yank this line and I'll, um, and then let me um, paste it here. So if I do this, so essentially now I'm going to be drawing the window after, now, now you won't see the squares at all. And, but, ta-da, you end up seeing uh, the the piece. So essentially the squares are closing up the the grid is closing the the piece. And so that's the reason why I had to do it the with three classes before. So um, perhaps if there's a solution for this, I if and if you know the solution I would appreciate uh, uh, a suggestion. Thanks. So let's fix this back to the way it was. And um, yeah, well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this lesson and with the little uh, addition at the end of what I thought should work <clears throat> but didn't. In any case, uh, we'll see you next time.